Oh man, cocktails. I'm your host, Derek. So I got with me Doug Peterson, and today we're doing. What are we doing? We're doing a tasting. A tasting of tequila, Alacron tequila, Alacron. and we're doing it on the patio of of Doug's custom-built cabin lodge. 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 Cabin. Up north in New Hampshire on a mountain. Yeah. That's that's the other side of it. Yeah. Just about 1,500 feet up. It's nice. Which it's is nice the out. best way to taste tequila. Fifteen hundred feet. Yeah. No, that's not gonna work. If you have the opportunity, I highly suggest it. Right. T- tasting tequila in general. And and then you taste it up on a mountain. Dude, you put a ton in there. I did. He's <laughs> <laughs> He just dumped out a bunch of water. He's like, oh, this is, we, now we don't have to fill it as much. Right. I didn't fill it that much. It's only <laughs> halfway up. Uh, it's gonna be a good day. Oh yeah. Well, we don't have to finish it. So this is a Blanco. Alacron, yes, it's a Blanco tequila. Alacron is approximately forty, forty-five dollars. I found online. I don't know if you can get it everywhere, but there were places online that sold it. Yeah. So you like might have to things. Search. You can always find it on the internet. On the internet, it's uh, probably forty ABV. Yep, it's, it's your normal proof. I'll give it a smell and a taste. How's it smell? Salt. It's like salt lime. Yeah. Like non iodized salt, even. Like margarita salt. Ooh, it's tasty. Hot. Oh, it's good. I burned my tongue on that pizza, I think. Yeah, that pizza was Because this is burning my tongue now where all the little Ooh. spots were burned. Wow, that's really good. It's thick. Like a pretty. Substantial it is. body to it. It's like it is. It, it's almost yeah. Like it's, rest. it's it's. <laughs> look at the legs. It's, it's silky. It is. It's it's very sexy. Yeah. It's this a sexy is, product. This is really good. And it's a scorpion logo, which you can't go wrong on. Right. I mean, <laughs> as much as as much as you could. Here's the deal. Like their whole their whole site, everything was black. It's very dark and dangerous. Like a black label, black top. White product. What the heck is going on in there? Uh, the, it almost tastes agave. like it's, it's it's slightly aged in some kind of oak. It, it it has a woody thing going on. Is it me? It's me. It is me. It's me. It's me. I think so. Hmm. Um, I get Try pineapple, pineapple, salt, lime. Obviously agave. Like finishes. It's a little warm, like a burniness to it, uh, which I think you'll get out of most Blancos, because that's kind of the Blanco thing. It's, it's, yeah. it's as raw and, and pure product as you're going to get. I don't get that much burn. It could just be because I burned my mouth, and I it's, think it's tickling all those spots. It's nice and sweet. There's a little bit, like a little sweetness, but I'm, I'm, I find it's got a lot of salt, mm. like, which yeah. is not a bad thing. I. Uh, I just, for some reason, it, it kind of like a salted rim of a glass, but mm-hmm. not, not like super gross salt. Like I don't like salt on my my anything, yeah. <laughs> but it, in a as a note to a liquid, it's not bad. It's like if it if it had the flavor of turkey. I don't want turkey in my cocktails, but I wouldn't mind <laughs> turkey nose. That would make sense. Sure. Although I wouldn't want turkey nose in my tequila. Get some wind on the mountain. Yeah. Woo! It gets windy up here. Um. Really tasty. It's tasty. Forty dollars is about where it would normally fall. Uh, we'll give that a minute. Uh, she came out of nowhere. Yeah, that kind of does that. So I'll just yell over the blaring. I don't. The microphone's in the front, so it might not be doing a lot of the popping. And that's when the wind blows at it. I don't really know. We'll find out. You can complain if you want. If it comes it down, if that's what you want to do. But it's a free video. It's good. It, is, it does have a little bit of sweet. For $40, $43, $45, it fits right in the range. Yeah. I would rather yeah, have it a little yeah. less, but that's me. I like the $35 range for a Blanco because I feel like if they make a, and I don't know if they have one, but if they make the next level up with a Reposado or an Añejo, it's going to yeah, get kind of costly. Patron. Yeah, you're in Patron territory. Uh, but that's that's for an aged product where Patron Reposado probably costs a little bit more. But 
Patron Silver is where the Repsol will probably fall price wise for this. That's what I'm right. Saying. Yeah. So, and this would still be a better product. Yeah. And it's not hard to beat Patron as of making a better product. So I, I don't want to go out of the Jose way. Jose Cuervo like, and Patron haters yeah. at your service. I do need to make a video on just Jose, on on Patron to match my Jose Cuervo um, rant. Rant. Yeah. But for a good hmm. solid tequila. It's lime, salt, great in the margarita. It kind of tastes like it's a margarita already. I would sip that straight all day long. Yeah, it's really good. And he's probably going to. <laughs> so I uh, got that going for me. Got nothing else to do. Right. <laughs> so there you go. If you're looking so for. So what you do today? I sip tequila <laughs> all day. All day long. Good silver. A, a pretty neat bottle design. When you're looking at different bottles and layouts, it's like a charcoal, like weird fabric type thing. It's kind of neat. So I think it'll stand out, although it is subtle and, and its design doesn't get all crazy. They don't have scorpions in it, I don't think. I can't see in there, but I'm guessing no. Um, it's like the plastic dip stuff. Yeah. Yeah, because it's got like that yeah. uh, padding on it. Yeah. So you could probably put this in layer your truck bedding with it. Yeah. Uh, overall, definitely a, a well worthwhile product if you're into tequilas and you want to spend $45 to experiment. It is unique. It's not like every other tequila out there. A lot of the great $45 tequilas are unique in their own way. This guy, I think, just fits in the salt, mild sweetness, good margarita. Yeah, and it's or not sip. very burning. No, no. It doesn't, it, it doesn't have a lot it, of that. If I had to rate it on a typical burn. scale of 10, I'd go four. Sure. Maybe even less as you sip it. It definitely numbs it. Yeah, 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 everything starts feeling a little bit better. It goes down a little bit easier, folks. Nice quality body. That's it. Really good. I like it. So you can go to everydaydrinkers.com if you'd like to. Also, uh, I urge people to check us out on facebook.com slash cocktail TV because people want to know when do we tape our live tapings. If you missed this week, I don't know when this video is going out, maybe tonight. Uh, if you missed this week's live recording, it was pretty intense, but it's 7.30 Eastern Time. If you don't know what Eastern Time is, Google Time Zones yeah. and look for all the minuses and pluses and figure out where you are. We'll figure out where we are and do the math. We're usually GMT minus five. Right. I get a lot of people asking, what time is that in my time zone? I'm like, dude, I don't have time to go through and do the math for everybody. But there's charts. GMT minus five. GMT minus five is four four right and it's now. It's also fun to look at what time it is everywhere else. Right. Give you something to do while you're drinking your tequila. There you go. We're teaching you how to drink. 